Nearly one out of every 13 children has a food allergy, and for many parents, EpiPens are lifesavers. But the cost of those EpiPens has risen nearly 500% in the last decade. CBS 2's Vanita Nyer has more. An EpiPen is never far away in the Henniger household or dinner time. So this is our Mexican pizza. Is a cautious time. Of the family's six children, two have severe food allergies, three-year-old Cora and seven-year-old Ellie. It's why both girls never leave their Indianapolis area home without their fanny pack. So it's always good to have it with me. So you can get really sick if you don't have that with you. Mm -hmm. As a baby, Ellie's allergic reactions were so severe, hives covered her entire body. Her family has twice used the EpiPen to save her life. Her lips turned blue, she started swelling, she wasn't able to breathe. They have to replace the injectors every year when they expire. The Hennigers remember paying as little as $80 for them five or six years ago before they switched to a high deductible health plan. When we went to go have it filled, it was 600 In 2009, pharmacies paid slightly more than $100 for a two-pack of EpiPens. The price has since skyrocketed to more than $600. Bloomberg senior medical reporter Robert Langrith says the manufacturer of the device, Mylan, has a virtual monopoly after its main competitor launched a recall last fall. This brand name EpiPen, it's like Kleenex to allergists. You know, it's a name they know and trust. In a statement, Mylan tells CBS News the EpiPen's price has changed over time to better reflect important product features and the value the product provides, saying we've made a significant investment to support the device over the past years. Are you fearful the price could continue to go up? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Prices are based on competition and there's no competition. Now, the company offers coupons, which have allowed many patients to pay nothing out of pocket. Those coupons are worth up to $100. Family with high deductibles like the Hennigers are still on the hook for the majority of the cost.